respected sir and my dear friends my name is akshi subhash and my class number is 10 i am here to explain about the topic axial flow reaction turbines okay now talking about axial flow reaction turbines it can be defined as it can be simply defined as the reaction turbine in which water flows parallel to the axis of rotation of the shaft so if you look at this diagram this is how an axial flow reaction turbine looks here we have the shaft this is a shaft this is the axial this is the axis of rotation of the shaft and it is said that water flows parallel to this axis of rotation now let us see how it works before that let's look at the major parts of the axial flow reaction turbine as mentioned earlier this is the shaft and the a slightly enlarged portion is seen at the bottom of the shaft and it is called the boss or the hub and besides this boss or the hub beside the boss we have the runner vanes we have the runner vanes which keeps on rotating and another major part of the axial flow reaction turbine is scroll casing these are the scroll casing here comes the scroll casing water flowing from the pen stock is moved to the scroll casing and is circulated inside it and after circulation it moves to the guide vanes these are the guide vanes and these guide vanes guide the flow of water through an angle of 90 degree to the runner vanes and thus the flow of water becomes parallel to the axis of rotation of the shaft so if we consider this as the inlet point where the water flows into the runner vanes and this as the outlet point here we can see the water flows in a direction parallel to the rotation of axis of the turbine shaft so that's how it works and after coming out of the runner the water flows through the draft tube and is discharged out the discharge the discharge sorry the discharge of the draft tube is calculated using the expression q equal to pi by 4 do square minus db square into bf1 that's area and velocity as you all know here the dimensions do is given by the outer diameter of the runner so here this is the runner outer diameter of the runner represents do and db is given by diameter of the hub or the boss so this is the hub and db represents the diameter of the hub and vf1 in this expression is the axial velocity at the inlet point so this is the expression for calculating discharge now also we must keep in mind some other points while calculation or while doing problems is that the peripheral velocity u1 equal to u2 and is given by pi do n by 60 the axial velocity is at the inlet vf1 equal to axial velocity at the outlet vf2 and also area of flow at the inlet is equal to area of flow at the outlet and is given by pi by 4 do square minus db square so that's must be taken care while doing problems and an axial flow reaction turbine can be classified on the basis of the vane motion uh, by vanes we mention runner vanes and if the runner vanes are fixed and they are not adjustable that's they remain stationary the turbines are usually called propeller turbine and if the vanes are not fixed and they are adjustable that's they are rotating it's called coupling turbine uh, so that's all about axial flow reaction turbine it's just an illustration of this axial flow reaction turbine i hope all of you understood it thank you